Hello all, Series Lee's here, back for some more Alpha 2 Omega. We are finally done the Artemis missions. It's all out of the log. All I've done since the end of the last episode is hopped into the ship and flown back up to the freighter that I called into orbit there. If we take a peek at the discoveries, we can see we ended up in a star system that has no space station. Uh, Red Carl is the name of the planet, that's neat. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's nice, it looks pretty. Uh, but we're gonna move on to a place with a space station because if we go to the galactic map, we have our mission for this as a target. So let's go find that, a freighter warp drive, right next door, and I think I saw, yeah, it's a three-star economy. Now, <clears throat> it's a Gek star system, and because this is going to be our settlement. I'm considering maybe we should just head back to Isentem for now. We'll get a space station. We're gonna go here. Why not? Let's go here. We'll talk en route. Uh, yeah, uh, we can go get this in the log so we will have access to the said Zerbal galaxy, but I sort of think I want my settlement to be in Isentem somewhere. I do like the galaxy. I don't know what that was. We just got something to check off here. Let's do a quick scan of the system. Activated copper on a swamp planet. Nice colored. Uh, gamma capped but aggressive sentinels. Humid planet with pink grass. I don't think it has water. That's interesting. Frozen moon. Plated planet. That's glitch decorations. Okay, well let's, on the way to the space station, let's see where it's pointing us for. The only reason I don't want a Gek settlement is they use wooden buildings, and wooden buildings look great. I use them sometimes, but a whole settlement of them looks a bit, I don't know. I don't like it. Where's my ship? Oh, it's at the back. That's weird. I've never seen it in this slot before. Maybe what we should do. Hop into this. And uh, we need to repair that. There we go. And I think that's enough. I'm gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if that's enough to call it into the space station. And if not, that's fine. Both of our ships are damaged. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see where the settlement is. It's on the Reeking Planet. All right, we have another contact. What is, this might also be for frigates. No, it's not. That might be Dreams of the Deep. Yeah, because we went to a new galaxy. Okay. No problem. We'll ignore it. Interesting colors. I like the red and black combo here. Goes with our starship pretty well. Oh, uh, yeah, we can try from here. We'll just go to our menu, switch to different vehicles. No, critically damaged, critically damaged. Okay, we can't switch ships. All right, well, we got this in the list. Uh, let's just take the teleporter to Ice and Tam, and we'll reset the settlement mission in a star system we find that we like. How about the apples? Because we could do it here. We could do it in Sud Zerbal. We could do that too. We could just look for a star system here that we like. We'd have to go far away is the issue. I think it's just going to be faster to switch galaxies and do it that way. Space stations, a whole bunch in Isdora Young. Euclid, Isentam. That might be the only one. Let's just go there. Uh, 
And for this, I think I actually will call the freighter into warp. Not only will it let us search the whole system first, it's going to be able to warp a lot further away from other people's discovered systems. Like, we're probably in... No, I discovered this one. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but let's go warp somewhere far. Unless this is a really cool system. What? Where, where's this? Why do I have this on my list? What's here? We got pink space. We have a pink planet flourishing. What's here? Oh, this is my Isentown portal base. Okay. There's a whole bunch of things here, and I never scanned the whole system, so let's call the freighter in and do that before we go. If we're going anywhere. Don't necessarily need a base at your settlement, because you can teleport straight to your settlement anyway. So, scan. Oh, General Hand Seska is tired. Is he a General Hand, or is he Hand Seska? Uh, we have Fungal, Desert, Gamma, Gamma. Uh, it might be a lot of work to get it on New Doverman. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, let's warp somewhere then. Oh, itchy. I I ear, lobe, ow. There we go. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Let's see, where are we going to go? How about, uh, I don't know, over here. <laughs> Hey, look at that. One conflict level, three star economy, Viking. They're going to get stone buildings. I like those a lot. Hopefully there's a nice set of lush planets here. It's Isentown. A desert planet would be okay as well. Stone buildings on a desert planet, that would look pretty cool. So it would, actually. If if that was a on the Gek moon, we could have uh, could have done it there. Ooh, nice space station. Interesting background color. I don't know about the name. Bung Poo sounds not great. We'll change that if we like it. Ooh, lots of Frozens. Charred. Caustic. Doomed. And, ooh, there's a desert. Also Gamma. Hmm. No, you know what? Too many planets to worry about where we're going to have our target on. Let's find somewhere else. We can keep warping. All right, we, we can't keep warping. We need to go here and there. And it's that one in the middle. Okay, anything nearby? You know what we should do? If I do want to go by life form, we're looking for the red ones now because they're Viking. I switched to the life form, so we only have to look at red stars. There's a three star conflict. I don't want that. No. Because I don't want the settlement to be attacked by pirates very often. It doesn't have to be a three star economy. That's a benefit, I think. Pirate system? Pirate dissonant system. What's it got planet wise? Just four planets? Let's go check this one out. I would not mind having a base in a pirate dissonance system. Very, very easy to get inverted mirrors here because the sentinels won't attack you. You can just shoot the things down in your starship without ever even landing. What do they call it? The uh, inverted mirrors is what you get. I can't remember what the walkers that they come from are called. Hmm, nothing here. Distance is detected on a contoured planet. Wow, are we sure we're in Isentem? I'm going to check the galactic map when we warp. I mean, we went to a starbase uh, space station in Isentem. Yeah, it says Isentem. All right, search by life form again. Maybe what we should do is check for star color. Two star dissonant. 
Yeah. One, one conflict level, though. Not a lot of planets. Let's go check that out. The pickier we are with our uh, minimums, the less likely we're going to find what we want. And the longer it's going to take us. Green. Very green background space. Okay. Three planets total. Less likely to find what we want with three planets, but more likely to get the settlement on the planet we want it on, which... Oh, the nest. Ah, so close. So close. Hey, a dissonant volcano. And a paradise planet. Krampus? Oh, no. Campurus. Okay, let's go check out Krampus. I think this one's worth examining. Before we do much of anything, let's go land on the space station. Nah, it's too close to Paul, so well. Interesting web around this one of antennas. Besides the colorings, the insides aren't super duper unique. Some of them have a lot of glow, like look at the red glow coming up between the landing pads here, but beside that, all right, so we have a restore point made. Let's go and see what this planet is like. Because this one has a blue sky, but that does not mean the paradise planet does, and we don't necessarily want a settlement on a nest. So, first person mode. And then over here somewhere it says. Oh, it's behind it. Okay. Oh, that's the Paradise one anyway. Nope, that's the volcano. So, might be purple. It's interesting that it's actually showing us a different sky color than the one we're right beside. Paradise planet, purple sky, orange grass. You know what? I'll take it. Let's see what happens if we try resetting the mission right where we are in space. It's probably going to send us to the volcano planet. Log. Uh, where'd it go? A planet in distress. Restart mission using nearby structures. All right, we'll answer this hail. <clears throat> So, I don't see a signal appearing ahead of us. That's a good sign. It's on the planet we want it to be on. Perfect. That was easy. It only took us half the episode. <laughs> Let's see what they want here at this settlement. Let's see if there's anything nearby as we're landing. We've got something down here. Oh, a freighter crash. That's cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Good enough. Let's land right here on the outskirts. We're going to have to build an office. Is the freighter here? Yeah. Settlement detected. Status vulnerable. Planetary settlements. You have located a struggling... All right, we got to talk to this guy. Agbashe. <laughs> Sentinels. All right, well, no problem. And another one. Ow, 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 ow. That didn't hurt very much, actually. Looks like two more. Oh, I missed. There we go. That was easy. One 
on the awning. Alright. Speak with the survivor to learn more. Alright, we should have a marker over here. Did he go inside? Yeah, I'll accept their thanks. Now I need to go talk to the terminal in the middle of town. I suppose we can examine this thing before we agree, and if we don't like it, we could not take it, but we can make it work eventually, probably. I mean, we have to apply first and choose later. It's a C-class. It's got very low happiness, huge population compared to ones that I've seen. It's making money per day? Oh, no, 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 no. It's losing money per day. Okay. Sure. Let's take it. Uh, because the other option is looking around for another 15, 20 minutes. All right. Uh, go to the office and build it. I like that it's pretty much right beside there. I don't know which way the door is going to face. I hope it's right where this construction terminal is because that's a good way for it to face. So we need to wait, I think, 15... No, one minute, two minutes. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's see. Let's take a peek around. I do like the light purple skies. The grass is almost red where we are in the shadow here. Shadow of this mountain. Oh, there we go. There's some light, bright orange grass. And I love the giant rings. What a good location, actually. What a sight. Imagine waking up to that. That's sort of uh, looming. Very looming. All right. 45. Oh, I thought it told me to go back. Uh, never mind. Oh, neat. Got like a bar in here. Stairs up and stairs. That's super useful stairs. <laughs> is there even a way into this building? I don't think there is. Okay, we can get in up here. And we saw, okay, the stairs. Oh, neat. Like a downstairs speakeasy <laughs> that people can see in from the outside. <laughs> Sometimes your settlements will generate with buildings that you cannot get inside of. It happens. It's all for the looks anyway. All right. It's been 45 seconds, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Look at that structure. Uh, five metal plating. Gonna have to wait another two minutes probably. One, one, 30, that's it. That's nothing, a minute and 30 seconds. I do love the color of these bricks too. Nice colors on the settlement. Teal and green and blue. Very good contrast with the orange of the planet. And I like that it's mushroom trees. Yeah, good enough, good enough. We just need, we need a settlement. We need to get on with our missions. That should keep ticking down even if we're paused. Uh, that one, yeah, we can't do the Heart of the Sun thing yet. Expanding the base. We need to do... I think that's it. I think we just need to do the Settlers, and then we will get the Trace of Metal mission to start. So, let's keep on keeping on. Anything we can see nearby for resources. Paraffinium. Oh, something behind it. More paraffinium. Copper. Copper in the mountain. Cobalt up top. Neat. Paraffinium up top too. Lots of resources nearby. Uh, those are deposits though. We can't necessarily scan. We could scan. Uh, oh, I don't have an analysis visor on my multi-tool. And I can't make one. I never learned it. We have to do that in missions. <laughs> All right, where is... Uh, 
microprocessors and I gotta make them. All right, two more minutes for this to complete. Uh, whatever comes next is probably going to need like an hour to complete, so we're going to have to take a pause on completing the settlement proper, but having this will let us get Trace of Metal. So as soon as we get this stuff built and we've fully taken over and we've started our first project, we can warp out into space and start warping around here. Let's see what happens. Just gonna make a uh, restore point here. I'm happy with this. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, did we get. Ow. Who did that? Did we get a message? Was it Xing at? No? Okay. Sixty-seven percent complete. Almost, almost. I do love these construction materials that are around here while it's being built. Very uh, immersive. Oh, look, our door is in. We could get in there if the uh, the wall, or say it was a regular wall instead of an extruded wall, we'd probably be able to get into there. Ooh, there we go. We can get in. Got to talk to the terminal. Commission new structure. That's our first choice. Make settlement decisions. Let's view our status first. We have at least three negatives that we can see. There might be more negatives and positives hidden off that we can, we can only see six for some reason and we can't scroll. Uh, all right, we need productivity by... I wish it would tell us the exact, so I didn't have to do math, but it's about 60, 65, 66,000. We're not going to be able to pay that off in one thing, but both of these are about 40,000. First things first, I want a landing pad, and also, they're generally really fast. We need aronium, though, right? Chromatic metal to start it, and we have that. Okay, I'm going to need aronium at some point, almost for sure. Where is this landing pad at? Over there. Cool. Cool. This should take an hour, if I'm not mistaken. 59 minutes. Yep. All right. So. Greet the stranger. All right. All right. We got more stuff to do. May as well. While we're here. Ah. Uh, greet the settlement visitor. So. We can have them removed. There is no no effect for doing so. However, if we allow them to stay, it will cost us this much per day. We'll get one population growth. We will remove a negative and add a positive. I am definitely going to take 12,000. We're already in the negative. We're paying off half of our debt anyway. So, and we might have even gotten rid of most of our debt by getting rid of a negative. No, that was a happiness. We gained like 6% happiness though. That's huge. Oh, it looks like <laughs> the many spiders and repressive atmosphere are what are causing... Yeah, I can see both of those being pretty big negatives to happiness. So we gotta get rid of them. And what did we gain? This thing? Anyway, look, look, it's only 13,000 now, the difference between our productivity and our maintenance. So we're, we're doing good. When the whatchamacallit, when the landing pad completes, we'll be gaining 40,000, we'll be gaining about 30,000 bonus a day. That's awesome. <clears throat> we'll pay off our debt in three days. So, we'll save that. Let's see, what's it gonna say? Uh, 58 minutes until that's complete, and it'll alert us if anyone comes by. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can start a trace of metal, now that we have a settlement. Maybe just being out in space in this star system will start it. But maybe not. A 
Let's warp somewhere. Let's see what our neighbors have. Uh, Blue Star. Any high economies nearby to trade with? Nope. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of star systems nearby. Like, there's a dissonant one right there with no star, no star base. I keep calling them star bases. Come on, brain. It's not like you're playing any other game that has that sort of stuff that you can confuse it with. Erdowim. Let's go here. Let's see what we got going on in this GEC system. Oh, shaky. Hyperspace has uh, got some turbulence here. Red background space. Three planets. Volcano right ahead of us. Oh, hello. This might be the autophage starting. Maybe we don't need trace of metal at all. I think this is. Uh, auto diagnostics. Yeah, awesome. Awesome possum. This is what we were waiting for. If I don't have to do trace of metal, uh, I can I can happily put that off. <laughs> uh, sure, fragmentation map. We want to pick the one with the weird character in it. Block two. Try them all. Try quarantine. Try to delete the data. Oh, we should have clicked. I forgot. Close ports is what we want. I think. Terminate process. Close ports. The same thing. Already logged in. View the activity log. When did we log in? Yeah, that's autophage talk, all right. Yeah, I'm here. Don't try to take over my ship, please. Fantastic, that's awesome. I am super happy we got that started. Investigate the hijack source, they who returned. So, uh, I guess, KJ, if you're still looking to figure out how to start this by the time Friday rolls around, I very much doubt that. It doesn't have to be a Corvax system. I warped to a GEC system and I got it. <clears throat> Excuse me, though. Uh, it's probably going to send us to a Corvax system. Let's see. Yeah, there's a Corvax system, but we didn't need to go there. Didn't need to find a dissonant Corvax system. We just needed to warp uh, once we had our settlement set up. I'm sure you figured that out by now. <laughs> Let's land here and we'll go visit there. Wow, very clear white light in this space station. I like it a lot. Very easy to see the ships as they land. Interesting. Not my favorite layout of hauler, but could be worse. Uh, we don't have to go anywhere in particular to get out of here. So, dissonant, Corvax star system, autophage stuff begun. Finally, even though we already have a staff, we can make our own staff. Ooh, yeah. Rusty background, like rust red, rust orange. Ugh. Over there we have a tropical. Looks like we got a dead planet straight ahead. Life incompatible with aggressive sentinels. Behind us we have a ringed planet with gamma. Uh, and it's not whatchamacallit dissonant. This must be it over here then. Alright, we have a hostile scan. We'll deal with that. Let's head to the space station. We'll fight them off before we go today, because that'll be fun.
three more. Wow, they were really gunning for me today. Why can't I hit that guy? I'm shooting right at him. There we go. And one more, or was that the last one? There we go. So we have a signal on the dissonant planet. But let's go end it today on the space station. Break a couple asteroids with our ship, no big deal. Ooh, pink lighting in here. Neat. Cool. Well, we will come back next time and we will start the autophage mission. It's awesome. Awesome. Until then, everyone, have a good time.